So today I'm going to answer a question that I get asked with kind of relative frequency, which is why don't I own anything from Coach? And let's talk about it. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, proud to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to the slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself, and of course, celebrating others. So, as I mentioned in the intro, I get asked with relative frequency as a lover of kind of contemporary luxury or those mid-range luxury brands, why don't I own anything from Coach? And it's a really, it's a valid question. It's an interesting question. Um, and I guess what I would first want to say is I, ne I don't own anything from Coach myself. I have bought from Coach, however, so I have bought bags from Coach and I have gifted them. I have bought SLGs from Coach and I have gifted them. So it's a brand that I have purchased from, I just don't particularly own anything myself from it. Um, but I'm going to talk to you today about why that is and if I were to buy from Coach, so let's say if, I, if someone would say to me, you have to buy a Coach bag, what would be the coach bags that I would potentially gravitate towards if there was a requirement for me to buy one? Let me start off by saying I like coach. I don't have an issue with coach. It's not because there's any great reason as to why I, I don't buy from it. But I am somebody with a limited budget and a list of requirements that need to be ticked off in order for me to purchase from a specific brand. And there are brands that I bought into earlier on that I have fallen in love with, that given the fact that I have this finite budget, I choose to gravitate towards instead. Brands such as Longchamp, Kurt Geiger, those would be some of those maybe more mid-range pieces. Kurt Geiger is probably more towards the contemporary, Longchamp's that mid-range luxury, I would say. But also, I'm inspired by their pieces. I'm inspired by the shapes of their pieces, by the overarching design, by the fabrics, by the colours. And I won't buy into them if I don't feel inspired by them. So I've got quite a lot of the kind of louder Kurt Geiger pieces, um, like that one there, or my nylon that's in the graffiti. I like the bright colours. I like the fun hardwares, all of it. I think it's great fun. Like, this is a fun fun little piece, you know? I like fun. And Longchamp, again, I have fun pieces. I have four bright Les Pliage bags. I have Pokemon. I have the Pride collection. I do have some slightly more subtle ones. This is an example. Um, but on the whole, my pieces are quite bright, fun. I've got monogrammed. I won't buy into the brand if I don't feel inspired by it. So I haven't bought other than my custom one that I'm waiting to arrive. I haven't bought a Longchamp bag. Actually, I bought the Neo. But from the boutique in a fair few months. And the reason being, nothing's inspiring me. So I don't buy it. And that's probably the crux of why I don't buy from Coach. I don't feel inspired by Coach. I don't find the shapes particularly inspiring. I don't find the hardwares, the motifs, the patterns, the prints, I don't find them inspiring. I have no qualms about the quality. I think the quality is good, very good in many instances. I think the shapes are nice. I think the styles are nice. I need more than nice to part with hundreds of pounds of my money because Coach is probably more comparable well, in terms of the brands I buy from, I would say Coach sits somewhere between Longchamp and Mulberry or MCM. I like Mulberry. I, well, I love Mulberry, actually, and I love MCM. But I would say it probably sits between those two and Longchamp in terms of its price point. I would rather spend a little bit less and get something I love more from Longchamp 
or spend a little bit more and get something I love from Marlboro or MCM. That's kind of where my head goes to with it. I think, do I just stretch or do I just slightly pull back? Because there is nothing that inspires me so greatly from Coach that I think I have to have it. And I like watching unboxings. Whenever somebody unboxes a Coach bag, I always watch the unboxing because I think, could this be the one that I look at and feel really drawn to and really captivated by? It hasn't happened yet. The one that I did think it could happen with was the Disney Villains collaboration. Um, but then when I went onto the UK site, I couldn't see any. And to be honest, when I was looking through the photos of the bags that and the items that the Disney Villains collab was on, the styles weren't speaking to me. So that's probably the closest. I like what they do with Disney as well. Um, I think that's fun. But again, there wasn't anything that I felt so gripped by that I felt like I needed to buy into it. That's for brands in general. That was the same for Gucci. Um, I loved that collaboration too, but it, it, didn't, it didn't grab me enough to want to part with such significant sums of money um, when there are other things that I am, am more interested in. So that's kind of where I go to with Coach. I have no issue with it. I have no question about the quality. I have heard good things about their customer service. I like the fact that they're continually looking to modernize the brand and adapt, but also not lose that existing customer base. I thought the um, I thought the advertisement they did with JLo was a strike of genius, a stroke of genius, not a strike of genius, a stroke of genius, um, in terms of bringing back that kind of very Y2K style and, and connecting um, kind of the, the moments in time um, so to speak. So I thought that was really, really good. I like Coach as a brand, don't get me wrong. Just not enough to buy into it. And I think that's okay. I understand that. I understand it when people say that about any brand, that you can really like something and just not be that interested in buying it. But let's talk about what I would possibly buy if it, if, you know, someone were to say to me, right, you've got an, a, an a thousand pound gift card that you can spend only at Coach. What are you picking up? So here are the five that I would pick up. Number one, the Gotham folio in the signature canvas. I like this. I like the shape of it. I like the top handle style. Out of anything that I've looked at, this is the one that, to be honest, I'd be the most tempted by. And let's say if this were to go into a half price sale, I could see myself buying it. I actually could see myself buying it, regardless of what I just said. I think this could be, this could be it. But I really, really like this because I just... I love a top handle style. I like the fact that it's quite simple, sophisticated. It's almost briefcase meets top handle. I like the mixture of the smooth kind of box leather along with the signature canvas. I think that's a really nice combination. I like the tag, the subtle branding. This is a great item. And I think this could be styled very easily. It could be styled for daytime, evening, work, play. Whatever it is that you wanted to do, I think this could hit the mark. And it's circa £500, so 495 which I don't think is terrible. I think it's a good price point for what will be a pretty sturdy bag. And I can't see this going out of style. I think you'd carry this for 20 years and you it would look pretty chic. As long as you maintain the condition of it, it would remain pretty chic. The next one that, of course, we see so much discussion about, and I understand why, and this one's been one that I've kind of got, oh, maybe in the right colour combination, I could consider it. This is the Pillow Tabby. It's fun. It's a flat bag style. I like a flat bag style, but it's cute. The reason that I haven't gone for this is because as a shoulder bag or as a flat bag goes, it has either the longer shoulder strap or a short shoulder strap that will sit somewhere under your arm. With a flat bag for me, I like it to have a long chain handle that I can double up that sits on my shoulder so that the bag kind of hits my waist or my hip. That's kind of ideally where I like it to go. I don't wear a bag cross body, so I don't need the extra length, but I like the fact that a bag similar, you know, let's use this as the example. Oh got stuff in it but this is the kind of chain length that I like um it just hits me in the right place so that's kind of where I go to with it 
Um, it's a very nice uh, item. I love this purple. I think this purple is absolutely gorgeous. They also do the fluffy versions, which are really cute. Um, I would get the 26 if I were going to get any. But I do also like the fact that the longer strap is detachable. You can have that just hanging if you wanted a slightly more casual look, if you're carrying it by the top handle um, or the shorter shoulder strap. Um, or you could just carry it by the top handle, which I think is, is cute. It's versatile, um, £550, full leather bag. I don't think that's a bad price point. I prefer this, for example, to the Longchamp Brioche. I would sooner carry this than a Longchamp Brioche, but I really have it in for the Longchamp Brioche. You probably all know that, so, but this is okay. What I would prefer to the Pillow Tabby, though, is the Soft Tabby. Um, I just feel that it would be a bit more versatile. I was particularly drawn to this turquoise as well. I think it's lovely. I do like the way that it looks on people when they wear it crossbody. I just wouldn't wear it that way. This would be exclusively shoulder top handle for me. Just a bit more of a casual um, bag style. I couldn't see myself using this in the evening. I could only really see myself using it during the day. But it's a nice piece and I think the £450 price point is pretty reasonable for it when you compare it to other brands. So this is a bit of a standout one for me actually. Um, not enough to, to go and to go and buy it, but I do I do quite like it. Um, one thing I do wish with Coach as well is that they would do more silver hardware. I think gold hardware is the preferred choice. Um, for the majority of consumers. I'm a silver hardware fan. Only in an exceptional circumstance will I get a gold, and it's normally because I can't get it in anything else, but it still has to work for me. But this is a nice item. I do like it. From a travel perspective, I think this Gotham duffel in canvas with the camo print is a very chic travel bag, and it's £600, which I think is a reasonable price point. I like the camo. I think it's got an edge to it. Um, I like the colours. It will just look great on top of a rolling suitcase. Love the black leather. This will be pretty carefree. So in, if you're someone who likes to use a duffel bag when they are travelling, but you don't want to use, I don't know, a Louis Vuitton Keepall or a Mulberry Clipper or one of those slightly more expensive over a thousand pound pieces, I think this could be a great option. This would be excessive for me. I use the Longchamp Le Cliage travel bag in the nylon in the large size if I'm looking for carry-on, but this is good because this is a bit sturdier. This, I think, could go in the hold if it needed to, if they would say, sorry, hand baggage has to go in the hold. I think this could go in and it would come out looking okay. Um, like I said, I like the leather. I like the fact that it has the longer shoulder strap. I think that is important with travel bags in particular regardless of whether you choose to use them. And the £600 price point, 595 I don't think is unreasonable. It's, it's okay. It's okay. And last but by no means least, this is one that I think would just be a very easy day-to-day -day style. Use it for the day, use it for a walk, just a casual piece. And this is the Coach Charter Belt Bag 7. Love the turquoise. I think it's a beautiful colour. £195, I don't think it's unreasonable for a kind of mid-range designer belt bag. Um, it would just be very easy to use. I like the fact that you can throw it cross body, across your chest. You can wear it as a belt bag. It's just got a little bit of versatility to it. It's still got that brand name on it. So if you are someone who likes a bit of a logo or a brand name, it offers that. Um, it's a nice item. It's got the contrast colors as well, which works well. It's, it's, it's okay, I think, as, as a belt bag goes. If I were to be looking for one, now I've seen this, this would go a little bit higher on, on my list um, in terms of considerations. I'm not a belt bag person. Um, I own that Ralph Lauren belt bag that I have used once or twice. Um, but this I like because you could throw it across your chest. So that would be a little bit easier. And I have been considering the long shot replay for the same reason. Um, but my sales associate is struggling to track down the ones I want because she offered them all to me when it first launched. I said no, and now I want them. So she's trying to track them down for me. Oh dear, sorry, sorry, indecisive. Well, decisive, but then changes their mind. And I think that's worse actually, um, making decision and then backtracking. But Anyway, there are some nice pieces. Um, I do always have a look at Coach when I go into a store that carries it. So I do look in Selfridges. I do look in John Lewis. 
you know, the kind of tabby shoulder bag as well in the white is one that I quite often pick up. And I go into Coach in John Lewis near where I live. So I do look, like I said, I have bought in the past, just not for me. There are other brands that inspire me more. There are other brands that I want to get into more. Aspinall as an example, Mulberry, Longchamp, Kurt Geiger, MCM. And there's Karl Lagerfeld. They just speak to my personality. And that's ultimately what it's all about. They speak these items to connect in a way that makes you want to spend the money. They have to speak to your personality. So I love seeing Coach on other people. I love seeing the unboxings. I always watch them. I always have a periodic look. Just it never speaks to me. And to be honest, there's always something else from another brand that if I'm going to be spending the kind of finite amount of money that I have to spend on these types of items, I'm always going to choose something else. So there we have it, everyone. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're an absolute coach lover. Are you someone who's not that fussed about it, like myself? What are your thoughts on this? Do you have brands that you gravitate towards over others and ones that you think, it's nice, it's just not me? Um, let me know what you think and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.